Hello, welcome back to Herbie's Garage. Today I'm going to be doing part two, removal of the carburetors. So let's just get started right away. Let's take this fuel line off first. Move the clamp back a little bit. And then we'll pull the line off. Now let me get my hose pliers. Pull that off. A little bit of gas on it. And then we'll do our idle adjustment lever and get it out of the way. So now those are both loose. Okay, now <coughs> I think I'm going to take these throttle cables off next, get a little bit more light. Take these two throttle cables off. I think what I'm going to do, I looked this over a little bit before I got started. I did watch some YouTube videos of people taking their carburetors out and different things so I got some ideas from them my engine's still warm I should have waited for it to cool off because I know there's a couple of coolant lines down here they go to the carburetor Ooh, that's going to be tough there we go Now we got both of those cables off, both throttle cables are off. Okay, next, way down in there is a screw for that clamp that holds the carburetor in. Now see, here's the duct work that I had loosened. I'm going to move it up a little bit, and if you could see my screwdriver where it's at, there's two Phillips screws back here, and you can tell that it's on a clamp. Okay, it's right there. And just loosen that top clamp. I'm on the left side of the bike right now. Don't loosen it so far that it comes completely out, but give, give it several turns so that it'll be loose. On this side of the bike, you don't have to move the ductwork. You've got enough room to get above it. And loosen it up real good too. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to pop this out of this <coughs> boot <coughs> like so. Okay, now it's got wiggle room now, but your hoses for your coolant lines are down there and it won't move very far, but it'll give you enough room to. Back it up a little bit where you can get in there. Now you want to take your choke cable, which there's a little Phillips screw. You don't have to take it all the way out, I don't think. Just back it out a little bit. Then pull it until you can get the cable out. Like so. I have to get some pliers or something to lift that little end out of it. And then the choke cable comes out. And just set it aside somewhere out of the way. Okay. The next thing you need to do is this cruise control cable. And all I could say is of the videos that I've watched, I don't know if it was Clifford Rice or Goldwing Docks. I don't remember what video it was, but they suggested taking these 8 millimeter bolts off instead of messing with the cable and stuff. I like that idea. And that's what I'm doing. There's two 8 millimeter bolts on this back side. Sorry if I can't film this. It's hard to even get your hands in here. 
I'm going to try to get the camera in there whenever I go to do the coolant lines. Okay, there's one screw. I know in my previous video I said I don't have much experience doing this. What I meant by that was I've never taken a, a carburetors out of gold wing. You know, when you watch enough videos, you know, you feel really confident that you could do it. Because you've seen other people do it. You know, what they take off, what needs to come off, what doesn't need to come off, all that kind of stuff. That's why I really like making YouTube videos as well as watching them because can help a lot of people out. There's the other screw. But I have done carburetors in the past. Okay, then you just have to line this cable up. I'm getting my pliers again. Line that cable up and then slide that little thing out like so okay now that's free okay now I'm hoping the bike's not so hot that uh, I can't take these cool lines off I, we'll see okay this is gonna be really tricky with you guys in there but I'm gonna try it try to take these clamps loose Pull it down. There we go. Okay, in anticipation for this, I took these pliers and I heated them up and bent them at a 90 degree angle because I knew this was going to be a tight spot. So, see if I can get in there with you guys here. Okay, I'm on there. Let's see if I can get that down. There we go. Get this other one. There we go. Okay, I've got the coolant lines off. Cruise can take cruise control cable is off. Choke cable is off. Okay, there's a couple lines on the bottom. Hmm. And then I got a couple over here. Okay, now off the carburetor, we got a couple of hoses that come over here. Fortunately, as you can see, it has a 21, 19, 20, and 18. And the hoses are marked accordingly. 20 goes to 20, 18 to 18, 19 to 19, 21 to 21. Okay, that's going to make it pretty simple, I hope. So let's see if I can get my pliers in here. To come from the other way. Boogers are on there. Whew. Maybe I'll take the top one off. That'll make it a little easier to get to the bottom one. There we go. We'll do the same for this other one.
there we go. Both of those are off. Okay, everything's off of the carburetor, I think, except for a couple hoses down here on the bottom. Boy. It's got little clamps on them. Sometimes them little clamps don't have a lot of pressure on it you can just pull it off like so okay and then there's another one hey that was easy enough okay looks like she's out Well, there she is. Still got gas dripping out of it. I'm sure the bowls are full. But on part three, I'm going to be tearing this thing apart. Probably putting new jets in it, cleaning it up real good. And uh, I don't know, maybe put a new uh, accelerator pump diaphragm, different things. Make it like new again, I hope. So anyway, that's it for part two. Let me see if you can see inside there. This is what it looks like after you remove the carburetors. I had taken the, the box off of this before and I sprayed some uh, lithium grease on the moving parts. And that's what you see all over everywhere. So I'm going to have to clean that all up too. So anyway, that's the carburetor. It's taken out. Now comes the fun part. All right, thanks for watching. Look for part three.